and it was shown that, you know, you take this one. So he took that one, triangle, France. See? And then at the same time, <clears throat> time, uh, 79 I think it was, so I was there in 78 and 79, uh, they wanted to have a new um, uh, Secretary General, now they call it uh, uh, Director General of WHO. And Dr. Mahler, a Danish uh, doctor, had been for five years and done a very good job. So he said he would like to continue, but not five-year term, but he would like to have two more years. So all of a sudden there came, and he had done a good job, but there came a Japanese candidate, and uh, so th there had to be a vote. And my husband, uh, my Norwegian husband, was a, a, a UN um, the diplomat, and uh, I got information through him. As you know, through the kitchen you get a lot of information. So uh, he said that, you know, um, the Japanese had gone to all embassies, to the ambassadors, and especially to the third world countries' ambassadors. And they said, if you vote for our Japanese candidate, you're going to get a Japanese car. Of course the Japanese candidate was chosen. Dr. Nakayama, who did an okay job also, I'm sure. But this is the way the world functions. It's all betrayal. And everything is planned beforehand. Everything. You can't think if you go and vote for a president or a prime minister, come on. Yeah. There, was, there was even, even um, proof of this when uh, George W. Bush was, was um, uh, going to be, well, he was chosen to be the president. So in one county in the States, uh, you know, they hadn't stopped yet the voting. It was, you know, it stops in the evening. So something happened to the computer and it started, you know, pulling out the, the votes and it was 19,000 something and then when the final vote came it was exactly that figure which was already hours before put into the computer. So actually what can people do? They can use their mind power, they can use their own knowledge and if there are many many, many people who, who are combined with the same same target in the way, in a positive way, and it should only be used positively. Of course, with yeah. black magic you can use it negatively. Yeah. I mean, sort of voodoo and, and, and uh, yeah. black magic does exist, yeah. but positively, so you do have a change. Yeah. But people don't know they have the power. No, but they have to get out of the you know, physical reality and realize what they are. That's what we started with. They exactly. Have to, they have to realize, they have to accept, they have to to get to know, you know, it's, it's just, yeah, then they have all the power they need. Yeah, but uh, again, what does it take that people wake up from the sleep watching TV? Yeah. I don't have TV because I know I don't want to be hypnotized by TV. I know it's used for mind control also. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if they're big news, uh, my neighbors maybe <laughs> would, would say that they're big news, like uh, an eruption somewhere in Iceland or... Yeah or other yeah. possibly man-made catastrophes, tsunamis and, yeah. uh, and, and uh, you know, Haiti. I think that is so clear, it has come out from many, many sources, of course not in major media, that possibly it was done with, uh, with HARP and, and Scala technology, because they can do that. And one would say, why would they do that? Why would, for instance, Americans do, you know, destroy a, a whole city or whatever and the people? Well, Haiti has oil and, and deep water ports that America wants. So always when you ask who benefits, you sort of come to the who is behind the thing. Yeah. But the technology does exist. That can be proven. So uh, why are we doing this? Why, why, why? Because all, also those who do these things, they also have a soul, I hope, you know, that they're not just oh, robots I without... Know, I know yeah, but uh, so they think, in my mind falsely, that they are doing a good job because they get rid of people, it looks like a catastrophe, and then they get all the money when you start rebuilding the houses mm -hmm. again. I mean, it, it's become a, a, an industry. Yeah. Catastrophes are an industry to get a lot of money for those who then, you know, get the contracts. Yeah. And, and when you think of so-called... Uh, terrorist hoax. I mean, come on, people are not stupid. It was in Norwegian uh, news 
<clears throat> lately in the morning at seven. You know, many people don't listen to the news at, at, at seven, but I never more after that. That in in all the all the years, forty years, uh, sixty people have died in terror actions every year, if you even it out. But uh, fifty thousand people a year die in traffic accidents in Europe, and forty thousand in America in a year. So what is sixty? contra 50,000, 40,000 a year. So it's total hoax. Yeah. It's just, to, to, just to scare people. To keep fear to control and exactly. to keep fear in the physical reality. Exactly. That's all that's about. To, to stop them involved. Into to stop them now. thinking, to stop yeah. them being, being creative, to stop yeah. them being seeing the beauty. Yeah. More and more and more catastrophes coming and yeah. people get scared. Yeah. Maybe it comes to this house, Paralyzed. maybe it comes to my country. Yeah. But I would say, quote, quote, they seem to take the, the countries that are, and, and places that are poor, and where there is a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, New Orleans, um, yeah. catastrophe, they can create uh, storms, yeah. hurricanes, and that was directed to the poor parts of New Orleans, not to the rich parts. And it was proven that they had um, explosions at the Levi's. So they were planted there to get the the rush of the sea to come in. Yeah. Again, why? It's the same, same, should I say, organization or cabal that plans all these things. Yeah. And they trust that people are so stupid that they don't see. And more and more and more people are seeing what's happening. Yeah, they, so many are waking up and now they just need to decide, they need to choose if they want to be part of this or if they want to have another reality. They have to use their own power. They yeah. have to use their own energy. I do think that in the in a couple of years we are going to see a change yeah, because the powers that be they always want to <clears throat> use what you are afraid of or you expect and now with the Mayan calendar people say Mayan calendar is closing down and you know by 12 I say so what but they use it like they used the year 2000 yeah. remember the history uh, 2000 it was yeah. it was just you know everybody was yeah. scared that the computers crash and everything is going to go nothing happened just about nothing happened but the, the wrong thing is that when people they look at a date you know they say 2012 they say 2011 you know if they just sit in the sofa and then watch uh, the tv programs and wait for 2011 12 to come no, we are in process, we are in transformation now everything is moving we are climbing up you say the stairs all the time but but that's also the physical reality. We have a date, we have a year, and then we expect it all to change once, but it doesn't. We are part of the change. We are creating the change now. That's right. That's right. By every action, by every move, and by what we have just discussed here, you know, it might awaken a lot of people to say, hey, I forgot, but now I remember. Well, there, there are means to, to sort of remember things and one of those I think was the Avatar f film because that if you haven't seen that I would recommend to everybody to see because that tells what happens to you when you die when your physical body dies and I think that already is such a mind-blowing uh, revelation that uh, that it really wakes you up but those who don't want to see it, and there are many who are afraid still, they say it's science fiction. That's fine. Hollywood is always used for science fiction, yeah. showing what is actually a reality, and then people can go home and say, it was just a film. The 2012 movie, that's a... a I've decided I'm world. not going to see there it, because I, I think people. it's just yeah. to scare. The end of the world. Yeah, that, the that's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, and yeah. that fear creates an yeah. energy of fear. It locks them into physics. Exactly, it's, it's exactly. Every time it locks them into the body, fearing of dying. And you cannot die. You know, it's... Ah.